Well, hello everybody, Mr. Reeves back with you today. And today we're gonna to be looking at adding integers with the same sign. Uh, so for those of you who wanna follow along in your textbook, I'm gonna be working out of lesson 1.1, which starts on page seven. Again, adding integers with the same sign. And we're gonna be looking at doing it three ways with uh, number tiles or colored counters, with the number line, and then just using the rules. All right, so if you take a look on page seven, you will see that they've got a couple problems here. They've got a positive three plus a positive four. And over here, you see a yellow counter is worth a positive one and a red counter is worth a negative one. So if you take a look at this problem, we have three plus four. And remembering that these are all positives, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little positive here. That'd be positive one positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, positive 6, and positive 7. So there are 7 counters in total, so the sum would be positive 7, right? Because you just add them up and you keep the same sign, right? So if I were to come over here and I wanted to do another problem, let me see here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, there's five positives. Okay, say I wanted to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more positives. Notice every single one is yellow, right? So if I wanted to know what positive one, two, three, four, five plus positive one, two, three, four, five, six, seven was, then I simply count. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right? So if we were to do this problem, we would say, let me see if I can get yellow here, we would say that a positive five plus a positive seven is equal to a positive 12. All right, so positives are yellow counters. When everything's yellow, right, you just get more and more and more and more yellows, right? So you just will always have a positive answer when you add a bunch of positives together. That's a little nicer, isn't it? Okay, so what about if we have negatives? So if we go down here, now they've given us the problem negative 5 plus negative Three, negative five plus negative three. Well, now we simply have negatives. One, two, three, four, five, five negatives, plus three negatives, six, seven, eight, right? So how many counters are there in total? There are eight counters in total, but they are negative, so the sum is negative eight. 8. The sum is negative 8. So it works just like with positives, only now we have negatives. All right, so let's clear all this out. All right, and let's do negatives this time. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's do negative 4 plus negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And hey, now that I know these line up so nicely, so what do we have here? We've got one, let's see, here we go, right? We've got one, two, three, four negatives. So negative four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we know we're gonna have a total of negative eleven. This was actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? All right, so negative four plus negative seven is negative. 11. All right, so that's how you do it with counters. Again, if they're positive, they're yellow, and if they're negative, they are red, and you simply, since we're only doing with the same sign, we're going to have all yellow or all red, and we just add them and put them together. All right, so that is adding integers of the same sign using counters. All right, so now I'm going to skip over to the number line. Now the textbook actually um, on the other pages doesn't have examples with the number lines. And if you notice here, we have only negatives added to negatives. So I'm actually gonna skip back up here and come back to the textbook. 
All right, so I'm going to go to this number line that I found online. So we've got a number line that goes from negative 15 over here to positive 17. And I want to add some numbers together. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with a positive 2. All right, and then I'm going to add to that. So I'm going to start on positive 2 right here. And then I'm going to bring this back. All right. So here we go. So positive 2. Then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. So I'm going to do positive 2 plus 5. And then what do I end up at here, right here? So we're going to go 2. We're going to go positive 2 plus 5. All right. So let me come down here. And mark this number off right here. Where did, whoops, wrong one here. Sorry, guys, I'm new at this. Here we go, and we put in 7, right? Whoa, what happened there? That's supposed to be there. Somehow I messed up. That's all right. So here we go. So what did we have here? We had a positive 2. Oh, that's not a good color. I'll use green. We had a positive 2 plus 5, and we got an answer of seven right so we started at positive two we went to the right because it was positive and we ended up at a positive seven all right so in this section we're only going to be doing positives plus positives all right so i'm going to select everything here and see if we can get this all taken care of all right clear this out all righty let's try another problem with only positive so i'm going to start at positive seven let's see if i can get this right this time so there is seven all right and then i'm going to go ahead and get my adder here and again i'm going to start at positive seven and i'm going to go one two three four five six seven eight all right so i added eight and i ended up over here at 15. let's see if it's in the right spot here all right so what did i do right here i did a problem where i started at positive seven right and then whoops here we go let's try this again positive seven and then i added one two three four five six seven eight so positive 7 plus positive 8 is positive 15. And again, we're only adding the same sign. So I'm starting with positives. And when you add a positive, it goes to the right. Okay? When you add a positive, it goes to the right. So that's how you add a positive to a positive. You'll always start on the positive side of the number line. And you'll always go to the right. And the answer will always get bigger. All right? What about if we're on a number line and we want to add a negative to a negative? So I'm going to start here at negative 1. All right, and this time I'm going to add a negative 5. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this adder that I had, but you'll notice it's going the wrong direction, right? If we're adding a negative, we want to go to the left. So I'm going to come here and notice now it turns red. It's really cool. So here we go. So I'm at negative 1. Okay, then I'm going to add negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. I think that's what I said. If I didn't say that, well, I'm changing it now. All right? And when I do negative 1 plus negative 5, what do I end up with? I end up with negative 6, right? So here we go. I had a negative 1 right that's where i started and then i went back one two three four five so i'm adding a negative five and a negative one plus a negative five gave me a negative six because when you add a negative you don't go to the right you go to the left when you add a negative you go to the left okay so negative one plus negative five is negative six all right so let me clear all this out all right and let's start again let's start now at negative three all right so i'm going to go ahead and put in negative three and then i'm going to go ahead and get my adder again 
All right, but again, it's going the wrong direction because that would be for adding a positive. So I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. All right? And where did I end up at? I ended up at negative 10. All right, so what was the problem that I did here? I started at negative 3, right? Negative 3 is where I started, right here. And I went back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I added a negative 7. So a negative 3 plus a negative 7 is negative 10. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you add on the number line, right? So if we're to go back in time, okay, we could see our problems. So here we go. Whoops, too far, too far. This is where I wanted to be. So first thing we did was a positive 2 plus a positive 5. We got a positive 7, right? Then we did a positive 7 plus a positive 8. We got a positive 15. Then we did a negative 1 plus a negative 5. Now we're going to the left, and we got a negative 6. Finally, we did negative 3 plus negative 7, and we got negative 10. So when you're adding a negative, you go to the left, and when you're adding a positive, you go to the right. All right? Well, I hope that helped you learn on the number line. We did the counters as well. If we go back to the textbook, finally, the last thing we're going to do is just look at using rules, okay? So, if you don't want to use the signs, whoops, we got blue here. Can we get out of this? Let's, oh, my goodness. Oh, well, I guess we're going to be stuck being blue here until I can get it to not be blue. But it doesn't want to not be blue. It wants to do all kinds of crazy things here. All right. Well, we'll see a blue screen. All right. Adding integers with a common sign. To add integers with the same sign, add the absolute values of the integers and use the sign of the integers for the sum. All right, so hopefully you all had a chance to do the lesson on absolute value. Uh, absolute value is the distance of a number line, the distance of a number on the number line from zero. Absolute value is never negative. It takes negatives and makes them positive. It takes positives and keeps them the same, and zeros keeps them the same. So take a look at these examples that they have right here. All right, I've got negative seven plus negative. 6, okay? And negative 7, there we go, kind of. All right, negative 7 is negative, and negative 6 is negative. The, so the when you take the absolute value of negative 7, you get positive 7. When you take the absolute value of negative 6, you get 6. So 7 plus 6 is 13. But because we started off with negatives, our answer was negative, all right? So 7 plus 6 is 13, but since they were both negatives, we'd get a negative answer. This is like if I had seven negative counters, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I added it to one, two, three, four, five, six. What would I end up with? Well, when I put all those together, I would get 13 negatives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Negative 7 plus negative 6 is negative 13, okay? It's kind of just what you're doing with the counters, except you don't actually have the counters, all right? What if we wanted to do a positive one instead? All right, well, I'm not going to draw 109 counters here, um, and they've got all their small numbers are only negative. Let's see, do they throw any positive ones at us over here that are a little bit smaller? All right, huh. They've got 5 plus, you know what? I'm just going to make one up on my own because this is just kind of crazy. They've given us the smaller negatives, I think, because they really want us to focus with the negatives. All right, so let me just pull one up. Let's just say that I had, and I was trying to add, a positive 4 plus a positive 9. All right, so what's the absolute value of positive 4? It's 4. What's the absolute value of positive 9? It's 9. It's kind of silly taking absolute values when they're positive, right? So I would go 4 plus 9. 4 plus 9 is 13. So I'd add the absolute values, and I'd say, what was my original sign? My original sign was positive, so my answer is positive. 
And again, if we wanted to represent these encounters, this isn't going to show up super well, but hopefully you could see it. There's four positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine positives. Four positives plus nine positives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. All right, four positives plus nine positives makes 13 positives. Okay, so we learned how to add integers with the same sign using counters. We use number lines, and then you can also just use the absolute value rule, right? So for this one, last one, the absolute value of negative 5 would be 5, so we would do 5, right? Plus 4 is 9, but then we'd say, well, wait a second, though, our original numbers were negative, so the answer we're looking for is negative 9. All right, well, I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, feel free to watch it again, stop it at any time, and remember to use this to help you with your practice as well as your skill quizzes. Have a great day, everybody. I'll see you next time.